We are building a wall on the southern border. We will build the wall. It will be built. But believe me, we have to close down our government. We're building that wall. Well, after vowing to build the wall throughout his entire campaign, the president says he is willing to shut down the government in order to get the necessary funding to make it happen. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked about it just earlier today. The president's committed to making sure this gets done. Uh, we know that the wall and other security measures at the border work. We've seen that take place over the last decade, and we're committed to making sure the American people are protected. And we're going to continue to push forward and make sure that the wall gets built. Uh, with me now, Republican Congressman Dan Donovan from New York. It's great to have you here, sir. Good to be with you, Cheryl. Sure. Well, they, they want this wall built, but how are we going to pay for it seems to be the continuing question. Uh, Mexico says they don't want to pay for it. President Trump says they will eventually pay for it. Uh, what do you think happens? I, I think we build the wall. Um, okay. the president you, want to, you want to see that wall built? I want to see the wall built. And, okay. and what form it comes out is, I think, leave up to the security experts. In some parts of the terrain in the southern border, we might need a physical structure. Some places we might use an electrical fencing. Some places we use drones to, 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 uh, to patrol the area. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, in order to change our immigration policies in this country, and they're broken, Cheryl, uh, the first thing we have to do is stop the flow of illegal immigrants. And even for those people who think, oh, the wall is such a, a terrible, inhumane thing to do, well, a couple of weeks ago in the Texas border, as we spoke about earlier, nine people died in the back of a van mm -hmm. who suffocated because of uh, uh, the illegal trafficking of humans from Mexico. If there was a stopgap measure there, if there was a border patrol there, if there was a wall right. or some barrier there, those nine people might be alive but today. But critics of the wall are arguing, and, and, and actually President Trump is somewhat proud of this fact, that the, the illegal immigration numbers have actually dropped just on the conversation about the wall, the threat of the wall, that we're seeing less illegal immigration across the border. And that's a good thing. It uh, is a good thing. But then do you still say, but we still need the wall, and we still, if there's other ways that we could maybe not spend so much money? I and there's still nice. people coming across there, like those nine people who died. So I, I think it's necessary. Okay. Um, I, I think the president is committed to do this. I think he's frustrated. A lot of things that he wanted to see happen in our country haven't happened yet. Mm -hmm. He's eight months into his administration now. Uh, and you saw with the changeover in his inner circle of people in the White House, uh, you know, the president's an impatient man. He, he's getting frustrated. He wants results. He knows the four years of his first term is a short period of time. And when you're talking about an election cycle of two years, where all of us are up for re-election. Midterms is coming, but yeah. to that point, you know, the threat about shutting the government down, the threat about the debt ceiling, making the debt ceiling fight about the wall. Um, you're heading back to Washington. What do you expect to see? How, how contentious is this going to be? I think things will calm down when we get back there. There's a lot of things we have to do. We have the budget. It's going to expire September 30th. Flood insurance. We have eight more appropriation bills that we have to pass. Of course, we have to uh, fund the government. We're going to raise the debt ceiling. We have to. We have to America has to pay its bills. Mm -hmm. uh, and the President's uh, Treasury Secretary, Stephen Mnuchin, came to Congress and just asked us, this is one thing we have to do. You have a very short amount of working days uh, when you get back to Washington. This is Congress. Can you get through the major items, the major points of the agenda that the President wants done? And it's not just the debt ceiling. It's not just the funding the wall. It's also, he, we're still talking about health care reform, in particular tax reform. We want to see that. Investors want to see that. Oh, absolutely. Can it happen? Oh, Can I, it think, happen? I, I think so. I think we could do more than one thing at a time. You know, every by concentrated on health care, but while we were doing health care, the House passed 279 bills. Now, 250 something was stuck in the Senate, but uh, well, we did a lot of work besides working on, on the health care bills. So I think we could do more than one thing at a time. I would like to see tax cuts. I would like to see people who ha come home with $900 a week come home with $960. They're not going to save that $60, they're going to spend it. Mm -hmm. And if they spend it, I but think But you it need will Democrats. You do need, you got to work across the aisle. Can you guys do it? I don't think anybody could say that they don't. Don't want the people that they represent having more money in their pocket. Okay. Both sides of the aisle, we hope that there's some bipartisanship, certainly when it comes to our money. Yes, absolutely. Sir, thank you very much. It was good to have you on the good show. Good to be with you. All